Hello, this is H.J. Bailey. And I still have a refreshing beverage. And welcome back to Let's Play Second and Setsu 3! Since last time, I bought all the equipment that I needed off screen. The shops are in these little caves, but they're on the top there, so. Just so you know where they are. But anyway, now we gotta find Watts to get that gunpowder. Just like Minecraft. <laughs> There's lava on the other side of that wall. Or diamonds. Uh oh. Slimes. Well, hopefully they, they don't split up like they do in Secret Romana. No, they don't. Thank goodness. They have the same little death animation though. Do they I, hmm? do they drop anything special? Uh no, no. Okay. Goblin Lords do. You probably want to try and kill them last if you can. Which I can't this time. I thought Goblin Lords only spawned at night. Or in the morning. But I made it night. Huh. That's weird. Because uh, I was just about to say, uh, when I rested up at the inn off screen, I uh, left it, or I made it, nighttime instead of daytime because of what elemental day is coming up and well, I'll go over that when we get to the boss. Let's just go up here and visit Watts. If I can. There we go. Yeah, you gotta go all the way up around here. But yeah, I would have liked to make it daytime, because I thought Goblin Lords mostly spawn during the day. 5,000! I was gonna say gold, but uh, luck. Just, just say gold. Gold. What is Luke, anyway? Now, if you do buy this gunpowder... You can pretty much bypass this entire dungeon for now. You'll eventually have to come back, but nah, I don't have the money. So I thought about showing it off what happens differently, but that's eh, really a minor difference. You do things slightly out of order, but that's about it. But I like the tremors. Oh, Gnome is around here, huh? Hmm. I hope he's as jolly as he was in the last game. Well, let's go. Ah, okay. We gotta get that gunpowder. Well, let's follow after him some more. How do these guys change? I wanted the Goblin Lords. Oh. They have the uncommon draft that I want. But yeah, I wanted, I actually wanted it to be daytime to get more Goblin Lords around to spawn around here, but oh well. There we go. Am I... Okay, now I can... Okay, come on. Kill the goblin first. Okay, there we go. Now, goblin lord. Drop a chest. Yes! Can I get the item I want? Yes! The dream sea herb! Finally! That's the item I've been wanting to get. What? You don't even have that character. They're useful on this path for manipulating the elemental days. Uh, just go to it. Fudging in. <laughs> They're useful, like, if you're in the middle of a dungeon, because the Dream Sea Herbs, what they do is they don't just make it nighttime, they toggle day and night. And, in fact, they actually just advance the clock, I think, for whatever 12 hours is. So, if it's, you're, like, just before whatever elemental day you want it to be, then you can manipulate it like that with the Dream Seers, which can be useful on this path. Or if you only want certain enemies to spawn, it's uh, particularly useful on Duran's path. Go for strength. Ready? It's like I know in the final dungeon on Duran's path, there's a particularly nasty enemy that only spawns... I forget whether it's day or night. I'd have to look up my bestiary. But you can just keep that enemy from spawning by keeping it day or night all the time with dream syrups. So, that can be pretty helpful. Whoa! Uh, Angela's almost dying there. Oh, you know what? I have. I don't think I've even set her AI to attack. Huh. Not that I really need it. None of the enemies here are susceptible to Wisp, so that's why I'm not using magic. I want to save it for the boss. And you could just skip on buying Angela's weapons. At least for now, anyway. Because she's... I'm not going to put anything into strength for her for now. Yeah. Mostly, unlike 
uh, Hawk or Lease, you mostly want to focus on Spirit, then Vitality, and then uh, Intelligence. And I'd only get Intelligence every time you get a new Elemental Spirit, because that's when you'll learn a new spell. You can't get the chest, even if you were, or, or even if I, yeah, even if I waited around long enough. So yeah, it's still nice to get those Dream Sea Herbs if you can. You don't have to, but it would be nice. Did I even equip armor on Angela? How is she getting murdered like that? She's a mage. Hmm. Come on. Die, die! Oh. No, oh, I don't care about that. That's a spell Lise could learn in one of her dark job classes, but uh, now I can't... Uh, well, you'll see. We, we can't do that right now. I'll go over job classes and everything like that later. Oh, that's why she's getting killed like that. They're using Protect Down on her. There's enemies that have abilities that can do that too, besides just spells. Ooh, come on, Dream Sea. Okay, come on. Let's see. There we go. Yes! Oh, ooh, a magical rope. Nice. Yay. Just like in the first game, it warps you out of a dungeon. Isn't it like a, uh... It's a consumable yeah. item in this game, though. So unlike the last game, you can't just use it indefinitely. Yeah, you see how little damage Angela's dealing? She's dealing, like, one damage. I could upgrade her weapon, but why bother? There's a goddess statue down there, but... Well, I'm, I'm not worried about saving. Huh, there's only one enemy here this time. That's odd. Come on, chocolate. Give me chocolate. Okay. There we go. You get the hang of it after playing the game ten times. I only wish I could manipulate the slots so well on Dragon Warrior 2. Or Dragon Warrior... Or Dragon Quest 4, for that matter. Whoa! Instant karma. But, yeah, I'm not that... I heard there's a way, like, if you memorize the pattern of the slots or something. Ooh, all right. Let's go for... Yeah, more... Sp more spirit? Hmm. Your vitality is really lacking. Yeah, I think I want to go for vitality. Normally, I'd go for spirit, but she's getting her ass kicked. So, she could use a little help there. Good thing we gained a level two. Because... We're all set and ready to go for boss time. Well, that wasn't too enthusiastic. <laughs> it's probably like the calmest you've ever said that. <laughs> Teal up. I also brought some extra ground drops for this situation. There we go. You press the start button, you can access your storage there like that. Okay, just in case. You never know, something might go wrong. How's it going? Wow! What a hole! <laughs> that sounds odd. Nuts. Oh, I think you're controlling it. What was that sound? Boss time! Okay, now, Angela, what I want to do is hit him with the magic while the rest of us use our melee against him. Not that he's really weak against it, but I want her to contribute something, so. Actually, you know what? Let me get Angela out of there. Get her out of range. There we go. Yeah, I can just hold down the R button and take control of her. Temporarily? Yeah. Oh. No, 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 don't, don't. Just stay back there. I wish I could control her, or set her AI to stay away from the enemies, like you could in the last game, but oh well. There we go. This is what I've been saving my magic for. If you made it nighttime, I think you would run into, you would have ran into more of those Batums on the way here, and you could have used the magic like that, or against them. But I decided to save it for the boss. 
But anyway, uh, part of the reason why I made it nighttime instead of daytime like I wanted to was because... Oop. Uh, Angel? Oh, I can't access her menu for some reason. Uh, I, I wanted it to be daytime instead of... Or nighttime instead of daytime. Because if I made it daytime, it would be... Uh, Jin's Elemental Day. And by the time I got to the boss, it would have been Gnome Elemental Day, and his spells would be a lot more powerful. Well, not a lot, but enough to be annoying. You want to keep your HP above 50 for this battle. Fumi Punch! Or, wait a minute, that's another game. Okay. You've played that game before. I have. Yeah, Fumi! Lufia 2! I only played that once. Oh, okay. But you remember Fumi. How could you get forget Fumi? He's the man! Because it was once about ten years ago. Oh, okay. At this point, I'm going to try and conserve her magic a little bit. Or, yeah. I'm going to wait for him to, like, make himself invincible. Because sometimes he'll just put his arms around in front of himself. Like that. Like that. And, well, it'll give me something to do. So. Now that's the last one. Could have gotten some fairy walnuts. They're a lot cheaper in this game than they were in the last game. And unfortunately, though, uh, well, maybe fortunately or unfortunately, uh, speed or agility, as far as, like, what they're supposed to do, like, I don't know whether that's your critical hit rate or evade or whatever it's supposed to do, but agility's bugged. So, like, speed up, speed down, it means almost nothing in this game. Oh. There's a lot of bugs in this game. Fortunately, most of them don't even matter. Whoa. Uh, let's see. Angel. Whew, you barely survived that. Intelligence also affects not only your uh, magic damage, or for most of your spells, not Wisp, but all your other spells, but it also affects your magic defense. And in fact, there's actually two different kinds of magic defenses. When you go to your equip menu, the magic defense value you see there is for your intelligence-based magic defense. But there's also another value for uh, spirit as well that's hidden. They don't show it on the screen there. Hmm. So, and that magic defense is based on your spirit stat, obviously. How much HP does this guy have? Enough. I figured you know the exact decimal value. No, I don't know bosses. Unfortunately. Come on. What do you need that for? You got Protect Up. Oh, nuts. Oh, that could hurt. Ow. Man, this guy's actually taking a little longer than I thought it would. I thought the extra magic damage would help, but apparently not. Well, Anjos can't contribute anything on Malay. Fumi Punch! See, that was Fumi's primary attack. Fumi Punch. I don't even remember who that thing is. Oh, it was one of the capsule monsters. Oh. The first one that you got. I don't think I ever used them. Oh. Come on. There we go. I wonder how many candies I got left, or round wraps. I, I don't care for those candies in real life. I think it's probably zero. Hmm. You gotta be getting pretty low. There we go. Ah, nuts. Do we have any... Ah, there we go. We got him. Okay. Whew! That was too close. Yeah, not a fan of peppermint candies. Like candy canes, things like that. Peppermint patties are nice, but that's because they got chocolate. Hmm. Although I did like the, uh... What was it? The Three Musketeers Mint Bars. Those were nice. I like Altoids. Hmm. Wow, that was a legendary jewel leader, just like in all the other Mana games. Maybe not all of them, but I think you're controlling the battle. Oh. 
trying to think of a Star Wars reference being born every thousand years. The only other jewel eater I <clears throat> that I know of is in a uh, Legend of Mana. Hmm. Yeah, it's Lord of Jewels, I think. Yay! Oh, he's jumping up and down, just like Ott and my other LP. Man, everyone loves jumping up and down in these games. Well, he is a jewel eater. Hey there, pretty lady! Yay! We got another one of our elemental spirits. So, now, when we gain another level, Angela can learn uh, Diamond Missile. But you have to put in a point of uh, intel. You have to gain another point of intelligence in order to learn it. So, all right, gunpowder, nice. Sure, sounds like a plan. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, well, we have to walk back to Maya there and get the gunpowder to him, and then we'll head on over to where are we going? Forsena. Next time on Let's Play Seiken Tensetsu Three. I'm H.C. Bailey. And I remember stuff. Signing off. Have a good day.